healthy arteries are elastic. Unhealthy arteries are stiff. Elastic arteries don't rupture easily. Stiff arteries do. Elastic arteries can accommodate incredibly high blood pressure. This was demonstrated in athletes during a workout. You may not know, but exercise, especially intense exercise, rises blood pressure. That's normal. Out of all exercises, leg presses seem to cause especially dramatic spikes. Spikes so high that if I didn't see the research data myself, I wouldn't believe it. In some bench pressers, systolic blood pressure can go up above 400 points. That's crazy high. Wouldn't you think that such a huge spike must have caused at least one blood vessel rupture? But it didn't. The studied bench pressers survived and continued in good health for a long time afterwards. Hmm. If high blood pressure doesn't kill, why is your cardiologist checking the numbers? Because some people can while others cannot bear blood pressure spikes. So what's the difference between the two? Tissue elasticity. Elastic arteries can accommodate blood pressure spikes because they stretch and shrink when needed. In elastic arteries, cannot do that. They maintain the same diameter regardless of what happens to blood pressure. Pardon my pun, in elastic arteries don't work well under pressure. Instead of expanding, they might rupture. So when your cardiologist insists that you lower your blood pressure, he is considering that scenario. But how does he know that your arteries stop being elastic? Does he have a magic elastic artery detector? He does, and it's called a blood pressure monitor. That's right. A simple blood pressure monitor that you likely have can tell whether your arteries are elastic or not. It takes about a minute or two to tell and is as simple as taking blood pressure. But there is a little twist. Follow these steps. One, take your blood pressure. Make sure your numbers will reflect resting state, not excitement. Don't test while watching a horror movie or while panting from a workout. To have correct numbers, you must be seated and relaxed for a few minutes first. Two, after testing, look at the numbers. You will see two, the top one and the bottom one. You need both of them for estimating blood vessel elasticity. Three, do the calculation. Take the top number and deduct the bottom number from it. So if you ended up with 120 over 80, you will do 120 minus 80. If you ended up with 160 over 70, you'll do 160 minus 70. Four, the number you got is an indicator of your arterial elasticity. So what did you get? 40, 60, 80? Healthy arteries usually return number 40. In other words, 40 point difference between the top, which is systolic, and the bottom, which is diastolic, indicate intact elasticity. In an elastic arteries, this number goes up. It may go up to 60, 80, or even more. The bigger the number, the stiffer the arteries. This testing method works beautifully well if you are on meds. But if you are on blood pressure medication, you will need to make small adjustments to your calculation. Blood pressure medication tends to reduce the numbers, so you have to add a few points to make up the difference. If you are on blood pressure pills, you will need to add 4 points. So if your difference is 50, your true number is 54. If your difference is 60, it would be 64. This upward adjustment can give you a little bit more accurate picture, although be aware that everybody reacts differently to heart pills and that this four point, although reflecting average, may not be exact for you. Anyhow, if your elastic number known in medical circles as pulse pressure is high, you'll probably want to do something about it. But can you? Yes, you can. It is possible to improve blood vessel elasticity. 
I will talk about how to have a healthier heart in the future videos. Subscribe not to miss any of them. See you soon.